I'm going to play a game of solitaire using Mahjong competition rules. Since there are 81 scoring elements, I want to train my mind to find scoring elements that are efficient and valuable. You got to have eight points to win. So decision making and timing is critical. That's why I practice. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to these risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left in the wall. We're going to say it's East Round. I'm going to use this to help me remember whose turn it is. I'll deal the tiles. East will get 14 and then southwest and north will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We got a flower. Mixed suits. Let's look at knitted. Knitted. Greater honors and knitted tiles, seven odd honors with one, four, seven, two, five, eight, and three, six, nine. One, four, three, eight, or three, or eight. I'm thinking about doing lesser honor and knitted tiles here so that would mean one four seven two five eight here's two five eight right here three six nine okay one four seven we don't have here though i think what i would do is play a half flush half flush with seat wind or dragon pung let's see what happens moving on to player two or south Two flowers, pair of dragons. If we can get a pwn, that's two. I think half flush with a dragon pung. We have one, two, three pair. We could play all pung, half flush, dragon pung. So that would be six, seven, eight. Let's look and see what all pung is. All pung is six fawn or six points. So let's try half flesh, dragon pung, maybe even all pung. We're going to see what we can do here now. No multiples. I'm thinking a knitted lesser honors and knitted tiles here. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. One four seven, two five eight three six nine. This is even a better situation than this player here. Three six nine one four seven. One four seven three six nine two five eight. So 
147 258 369 so we'd have to throw these back here away they're only three away though okay let's see what we can do with north flower okay let's see they do have a potential for a mixed triple chi two one one two three that's going to be a bit of a long shot though or a potential outside hand which would be ones and nines or honors in each set in which case we'd have to discard the four and one of the sevens because you can do a seven eight nine that would use a terminal which is a one or a nine so I'm thinking outside hand, mixed triple chi, chow, mixed mix, triple chow, mixed triple chi, whatever you want to call it. So I think that's what I would try there. So here I'm thinking half flush seat wind or dragon pone, half flush dragon pone. lesser honors and knitted tiles outside hand or mixed triple chow so here we can get rid of all these let's discard the eight band and draw four south four band that's helpful half flush to crack Drawing four west. Five dot. So lesser tiles, lesser honors and knitted tiles. Three, three nine, one four seven, two five eight. Let's discard the nine dot. one dot that can help with outside hand let's get rid of whoop we want to keep that eight we need to get rid of the four let's draw for player one if we're going to play a half flush here we have a one two four five we can't take that four green dragon okay let's get rid of the three bam up here now We're, we want to pung 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 if we chow that's going to break all this up i think i'd rather pung eight bam that was a good choice i think got some flexibility there there's a potential pure double chow seven eight nine in two two chows in the same suit let's discard the four dot and we can draw for player three seven bam one four seven two five eight three six nine we don't need this we don't need this five dot either and we might if we keep drawing bams we might be able to switch to a half flush let's discard the five dot and draw four north six crack Okay, that's not helpful. We're hoping for outside hand here. So we need to work with terminals and honors. Drawing for this player. Now, we have a one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. No, no pairs in here. Let's chow. So there's a chow. And get rid of the three dot nobody can take it so we're gonna draw five bam oh nice let's get rid of the seven bam that's a seven dot okay we need to pung pung that pung pung that pung that here's a pung or a chow 
Okay, right here, seven dot, nine dot, don't need it. Drawing four north, eight dot. Okay, that is gonna help them with outside hand. Seven, eight, nine, pair, gotta have a pair. Seven, nine, one, two, three. These are close to ones and nines. Outside hand. Let's discard the south. Okay, here we go. I probably should have kept that. All right, well, let's keep going. I'm not sure about that. Three dot, discard. Drawing for south. South, it's already been thrown. Drawing for west east okay now lesser honors you can use any number of them one four seven two five eight three six nine let's go ahead and start getting rid of these seven bam okay so we ha we have five so far up here now eight bam that's not going to be helpful neither is that really there are two nine dots out. Let's go ahead and discard the seven dot. We may only have the opportunity for one nine there. Let's draw one bam. That's not a keeper for them. Up here, can't take it. Five crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw one dot. We need one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Let's discard the one dot. Now up here, we could pung that. So we would have a one, two, three, seven, eight, seven, eight, pung this. We do need a pair in here though. And we could maybe pair up the red if we were to pung that. I think we should draw one crack. All right, well, we'll see if that's useful. So let's see. We only need one of these eights. Let's discard the eight and draw down here east. One dot, that's a discard. Okay, we just got through the second wall. We're now going into the middle game. Everybody should know what their intentions are. This player, half flesh, hopefully seat wind or dragon pones half flesh maybe all pung knitted tiles with lesser honors or greater honors if we can get more we need east south west north we need a west and a red and then of course we have tiles in here we need seven crack six bam eight dot here outside hand drawing for south west let's discard the west can't call for singles we're going to draw one bam 369 that's what we want there Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw six dot. That's a discard. We're going to draw for east flower. East got an east. That is kind of along the lines of the plan, the master plan. Let's discard three dot. Drawing for south, six dot. 
drawing four west two bam we need three six nine drawing for north four crack that isn't too close to the middle of the sequence we need outside tiles so that was a four crack we can't take it down here nobody else can take it so we're going to draw west west yeah that's not helpful and it's been thrown let's discard the south that's out twice now drawing four south six dot drawing for west three crack we need one four seven two five eight three six nine drawing for north nine crack that is an outside tile so that's good seven eight nine pair or pair or chow chow or pair let's get rid of this two bam and draw four east seven crack that helps with the half flush let's discard the eight dot so they have potential chow there's a chow potential pung these need to pair up here we go six crack north now we do need a pair in here i wonder if the pair can be a pair of the honors one four seven two five eight three six nine let's discard the four bam and draw six bam not helpful drawing for east nine dot drawing for south can't chow from the player on your right you can only chow from the player on your left oh that was a good tile there let's keep all the bams and discard the east we're going to pung the east for east that's their seat that's two points right there and now we can get rid of the west they need to pair up and chow okay we're ready to draw they need to pung pung or pure double chow there's an isolated tile or pair and a chow there's a lot of flexibility here four through nine let's draw five crack drawing four west six bam that's it three six nine one four seven two five eight okay we'll discard the three bam they're one away from lesser honors and knitted tiles let's draw north let's discard the north and draw four east three flower west drawing for south oh two bam okay we need to figure this out now let's see let's look and see what a full flush is full flush is 24 points pure double chow potential four five six let's see here or we could pung 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 let's get rid of the white dragon and go for a pure flush full flush right here that's what we're going to try 24 points let's draw nine crack up here let's pung it 
or we could stay sink concealed for more score. Let's see how many points is an outside hand. Only four. We need to stay concealed. We need more score. White. White. Yeah, it's discarded. Drawing four east. Six bam. Okay, here we go. We're going to take it. Let's see. We'll get rid of that. Seven, eight, nine, two, or a chow and a potential chow. If we take that for a chow, let's see here. Seven, eight, nine, potential chow. Four, five, six, pair. I don't know if I would take that actually, because here we have a pung or potential chow. Six, seven, eight. I think I would. I think I don't think that six was very efficient for this particular shape right now. I think I'd rather draw and stay concealed, or we could do. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, one, two, three, pierce straight. I think let's draw five crack up here. Three bam. We already have it. Can't take it here. Let's draw red. Okay, that helps with outside hand. Let's discard this eight bam. The eight bam. Can't take it anywhere. Let's draw for east. They got a north. Let's draw for south. Seven bam. Now that might be good. So here's seven, eight, nine, ready on an eight for two chows. Five, six, seven, pair or chow. Let's get rid of the white dragon. They're still concealed. Okay, here we go. Eight dot. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Now, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, red and west. I wonder though if this is a winning hand here. This is what I need to check on. For the greater and lesser honors and knitted tiles, they're all singles. So we need to discard this and they're going to be ready to win on a red dragon west or seven crack all singles so that was a north we're going to draw for north two dot either way the seven or the two we really don't need we've got a lot of kind of duplicates here or we could pung 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 and play all terminals and honors let's discard the two dot we're heading into the end game though four bam we'll discard that up here we need a three bam four five six pair of fives pung or two let's see pung pair all right work to be done there still let's draw oh wait we could maybe chow and yeah, we've already got a chow with a four five six okay five dot a three bam would have been really nice nine dot up here okay maybe we should escalate because we're heading into the end game outside hand is four we still need score though outside hand is only four points if we got a dragon pung dragon pung would be two that's only six pung of terminals would be two let's go ahead and chow and try to pung the terminals and the dragon so let's chow
And then we can try to pung these. Let's get rid of the seven crack. Here. Seven crack. We need that for the chow there. We've got a seat, uh, half flush is six plus the seat wind pung, that's eight. Let's go ahead and discard the red, get rid of these valuable single tiles here. That would be mahjong for this player. For greater honors and knitted tiles. Greater honors and knitted tiles. They were actually one away, two away from greater honors and knitted tiles, but I would take this one. That's 12 points right there. And you cannot combine that with fully concealed because it's already part of the hand. Since they're all singles, you have to be concealed. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. What a surprise. I really didn't think that was going to come in like that. And just a couple more tiles, they could have qualified for greater honors and knitted tiles. That's a little complicated though. All singles, no pairs. So that breaks the standard rule of four sets in a pair. You got to keep an open mind, which is one reason why I like playing solitaire. I want to train my mind to find scoring potential. Since there are 81 elements, that's a lot to remember. If you practice, maybe it'll be easier when I play in a live game or online at Mahjong Time. If you haven't joined Mahjong Time, there's a link below the video to where you can play and I may have a 30-day VIP code. Send me an email and if I have one, I'll send it to you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.